Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out the Magical Mixture Mill, which is an automation sort of potion brewing game where you have to build a workshop and a potion brewing shop. You have to build it up from the ground up. It's very, very cool indeed. And this video has been sponsored by the publisher of the game. So thank you very much for that. I really, really enjoyed the demo. Now it's in early access. Now we can actually get down to the business of running our potion shop professionally. Anyway, um, what we can do, by the way, is um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go in here. Let's call it orbital sure for now uh because what we can do now is um is start the game with a whole bunch of different classes so in the demo you're only able to play as the barbarian uh they've got some specific perks uh, as well um, we're going to be playing as the rogue in this, so we've got a little bit of increased run speed, and we can dash around attacking uh, some herb patches. I'm going to showcase that all in just a second. Uh, let us jump into... Let us jump into the game, and I will, as ever, do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. So yeah, it's a potion, it's a potion workshop, and it's also a uh, an automation game, sort of smushed right into one. So, uh, this is our potion workshop. Uh, we have got uh, Griselda over here, who is the... Uh, who is the who is the witch that the purple witch that owns the, <laughs> the that owns the shop and is looking to hand off to 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 me? Uh, I am an up and coming potion entrepreneur. I want to make better potions. I want to sell them and I want to help adventurers. I uh, I I don't know adventure better uh, over the course of their adventures. And we're going to be selling potions that will help facilitate that. Uh, we've also got Boggle Woggle over here, uh, which is uh, a horrible a horrible looking little thing. Uh, and uh, you are going to help me automate my entire shop. So um, we are picking up probably uh, weekday six, just basically towards the end of the tutorial. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to explain uh, a few of the features of the game before we jump into things proper. Uh, this is my potion brewing setup over here. Uh, there's a couple of components. None of them are too, too complicated. Uh, we've also got a chest over here, which we uh, can use to store stuff, which is what I'm actually going to be doing. Let's get some of that stuff in there. Cool. Nice. Uh, okay, that's fine. Then we got a crate here. Uh, very, very simple. We put in we put in the inputs uh, in here. Now we don't actually have any of the inputs on us at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, this is where the bottles go. So uh, we get the bottlers from, or we got the bottle from here, and we stick it in. We stick it in there, and we should be able to automate the uh, production of potions. There we go, using the magic of boggle woggle levitation. And of course, once we're actually once we're actually distilling something in this in this extractor, uh, we are going to be cranking out potions like there's no tomorrow. Uh, we got a couple of objectives. Uh, we got to fill 21 uh, mana potions deposited in the shop crate. Then we need to talk to uh, Griselda, and then there's a few other things uh, to do before the tutorial is up. Uh, but let's. Go and get that done right about now because I would like to move on in the tutorial. Right, let's put this in there. Um, I'm actually going to take it out for a very specific reason, which will become uh, apparent a little bit later on. Uh, but good, you're happy with that. I'm, I'm like a little busy bee. It's so heartwarming to see the different colors coming up on the shelves. Well, at the moment, I'm afraid um, I kind of pinched all the potions back from you, but don't worry about it. I'm going to I'm gonna give them all back to you uh, a little bit later on. Uh, we need to read some guides about how the potions are actually brewed. That gives me a good opportunity to show off what is going on at the back of the shop. That's right. Uh, so we've got a couple of different things here. Uh, first of all, we got a little bit of a gear overview. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. Uh, then we've got the bookshelf. The bookshelf has got two sort of entries. We've got the uh, Griselda's Notes, uh, which gives me a little glossary here. Then we've also got some guides with regards to the process of brewing potions. This is what I was going through earlier. We have the ingredient, goes into the extractor, becomes a mixture. It's bottled in the bottler and boom, uh, you know, Bob's your uncle. Uh, you've got yourself a little potion. That's kind of nice. That is a basic brewing potion, though. Uh, there is a whole bunch of more complicated steps here including the ability to actually make our own bottles, uh, you know, distill mixtures, and then bottle the potion. That's kind of cool. And then we've also got perfect potions, which is just a little bit of extra information with regards to uh, the tiers of potions and, you know, what potions are the best to produce, uh, all that sort of nonsense. So, uh, Griselda, you're happy with the fact that I've, you're happy with the fact that I've read that. Keep brewing, depositing potions into the shop crates. Uh, customers could be here any minute now. Excellent. Okay, uh, so that is sort of most of the tutorial 
tutorial done. You got a favor to ask? Of course, I am happy to help. You were found and brought here by Audi, the local courier. I uh, haven't seen him around for some time now. He was supposed to pick up a large shipment of potions some day ago, but never showed up. Uh, normally camps out in the woods, which are found northeast of here. I suggest you start looking there. Okay, uh, we will do that. Oh, look at that. 25, 25 healing potions and 25 mana potions collected. It's almost as if I knew that that was going to happen. But anyway, we need to find Oddie as well. Uh, what do you want, Boggle Woggle? The Bag Goblin. Over here, big shot. That's true. You know how to butter me up. Uh, you know how to butter me up. That is that is nice. Uh, scaling production part one. We need to talk to him. Let's talk to him and see what's going on. Uh, thought you'd forgotten all about me. Uh, judging by that smug strut of yours, you probably think we're doing great here, but let me burst your bubble. We could be working on a much larger scale. Music to my ears, Boggle Woggle. I want to make a big old factory in the, in the basement of this shop. <laughs> of course, that would require more space. Clearing more space down here would be easy enough, but unless you want the witch's house to collapse on top of us, I will need some materials. Okay, one of those materials is bricks. Um, we need to build a kiln, get started on brick production, and that is going to allow us to expand the shop. Uh, yeah, at the moment, we've got a very, very small shop, uh, but if we click on this interface, uh, which I can't actually do at the moment, I think we need to build the kiln first, uh, then we should be able to, we should be able to, to see what we can expand into. Right, what do we require for a kiln? Let's get rid of that. What do we require for a kiln? We need 60 stone and 20 clay, as indicated by the, the, little, uh, the little input over here. And there's also a handy little diagram uh, to see which sides of uh which size of production will be affected that's kind of cool right what do we got in here we got 50 stone 32 clay i mean i don't think that's enough is it no we need 10 more stone okay well that's a good opportunity to head on outside and see what's going on uh we're getting customers by the way uh, we've got chunk here the barbarian i mean we could talk to him hi little potion person uh, not much to say he's 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 very very brawny but not very brainy anyway no offense chunk um have a good have a good fun time on your adventure and i hope you're able to to extract some value from the potions that i'm that i'm selling um at at the shop at the moment anyway uh this is us this is in the world we've got uh we've got three sort of tools that we can use to engage with the world we've got the scythe which we can use to chop down uh, low-hanging fruit quite literally uh, in the form of mushrooms and these mushrooms are going to allow us to brew uh, a certain type of potion it is a health potion i do indeed believe which is kind of nice uh, we got a little bridge over there, which is uh, broken at the moment. We may be able to repair that at some point in the future. Uh, we can also obviously use the axe to chop down some trees, grab ourselves a little bit of extra wood, which is very nice indeed. It shatters into a million pieces. We get some branches. We get some wood. Very, very cool. Uh, we have also got, ooh, Zambi, Necromancer. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a teleporter here. Uh, there's a little bit of a world map going on, which is very, very nice indeed. You can see the river sort of snaking its way through uh through through here uh we can teleport uh, down to the city gates down at the bottom of the known world uh there's a few more things for us to do over here i mean there's a whole world to explore and don't get me wrong we are going to be exploring a lot of the world as we go look at this look at this is a lighthouse here uh nothing to do with this area specifically quite yet but there's a whole bunch of sort of like little uh, little areas like this, which we are, which we are going to be getting to know uh, very well over the course of uh, over the course of this little episode here. Okay, let's teleport back to let's teleport back to base. We don't actually need to be here right now. Uh, I just wanted to showcase what was going on. What we're really looking for is a little bit of stone. Now, there's a little bit of stone. Um, we can pull out our third tool here, which is going to be quite handy. We've got a pickaxe in our hand now. However, I am a rogue. I am a rogue. That is my character. Um, he looks very very fetching. Um, what we have is we've got two abilities here. One of our abilities, uh, an active ability, allows us allows us to use our pickaxe. And if I press spacebar and boom, look at that. Instantaneously nabbing ourselves all of the resources in that given area. And look at how look at how fast that is in comparison to normal tree chopping or stone mining. And we can do that with anything that we want. Uh, it does have a little cooldown here. Uh, you can sort of see. But that's fine. I mean, we'll we'll... We'll manage to we'll manage to fix that. We'll manage to fix that. Uh, we'll manage to wait for that to to, to resume. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, and that has actually given us exactly the right amount of material needed to get this kiln up and running. Um, we don't need to place it in a specific location, but as long as it's not sort of obscuring anything, then that is fine. I'd also like to get another chest, but I don't think we can get another chest at this moment in time. Soon though, right? What do you want? 
That will do. Now you can make bricks. You should be able to gather everything you need to expand the workshop. When you have all the materials, let me know. Uh, I'll get it done uh, while you take another nap. Excellent. Okay, ask Mogulwoggle to expand the workshop. Let's have a little look at what we need. Okay, so um, this is our current area, um, as is reflected by the square that we have. Uh, we can expand that, which is definitely something that I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to need 2,000 coins. I've got plenty of coins. I can sell more potions in order to get more uh, in order to get more coins. Definitely something that I can do. Uh, we need 200 stone, we need 50 brick, we need uh, 50 wood, and we need a whole bunch of clay as well. I mean, stone, believe it or not, is not actually that challenging to get. Uh, we've got 9 stone on our inventory at the moment. Uh, what do I need in order to make bricks? Yeah, I need to, I need to have a little, uh, I need to have a little look. I need to get that. I think I put some, um, I think I put this in as well. What is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Do we need, do we need to add, do we need to add wood? No, we do not need to add wood. I didn't think we needed to add wood, but there we go. We are able to nab ourselves a brick. Um, that is very, very manual. That is a very, very manual brick process. As you can see, we literally have to add, we literally have to add one of these, one of these in here every single time. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I really do not want to do that at all. So what I am going to do, what I am going to do is I am going to see if I can build a chest, uh, or sorry, a crate. Uh, we need 25 wood in order to do that. Do I have 25 wood? Uh, no, we've got 15 wood. That's fine. Let's put this back in here for now. Let's put that back in there for now. We'll talk about bottles, the way that we get bottles in just a second. Uh, these are the mushrooms that we're actually able to utilize in order to create in order to create potions. Maybe we do take this opportunity to create some more potions. Sure. Anyway, there we go. Let's put the bottles in here. So we put the bottles in there. We put the, the mushrooms, the ingredient into here. It gets piped out. Beautiful. It goes along the pipe. It gets bottled. Not on the first bottle, of course. That's uh, that's an empty bottle. That's for good luck, that one. That's for good luck. We can recycle that in there. But every single subsequent potion up up to, you know, the, the limit of the number of resources that we've got just chilling around uh, in this crate should be fine, which is great. I'm very, very happy with that. Right. Uh, so we need a little bit more wood. We need a lot, we need a lot of wood, actually. Actually, but we can at least get to work kind of having a little look over here. I mean, we do know that there's a forest sort of north, what, what was it, northeast? There's stuff over here, but there's a big old wall. Um, yeah, I'd like to go to a, a pretty heavily tree-dense area. There we go. And chop down all of this. Oh, that feels so good. 27 bits of wood. I mean, that feels absolutely flipping fantastic to do. I really, 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 really dig that. That is nice. That is really, really nice. See, look at the look at the time save that we get from just doing one of those in the correct in the correct sort of place. I don't know how long it takes to recharge. I think it's probably maybe 40 seconds to a minute, something something in that region. We're already 50% of the way there. If you uh, have a little look at the outline. So that's pretty nice. I like that a lot. That's pretty good. Anything else over here? I mean, this looks like quite a... This looks like quite a little appetizing... Quite a little appetizing target. That tree is too small. That's fine, too. Uh, we got a lot of... We got a lot of stone to harvest as well. Let's grab this tree manually. How's my inventory looking? Plenty of space. Plenty of space. We're not going to need to get more wood this entire flipping... This entire flipping run. We're not going to need any more wood after I do my, after I do my, uh, my roguish stuff on this little group of trees here. Beautiful. Oh, man. And we just walk away. You know what they say. Cool guys don't look at falling trees. It's quite literally that simple. Anyway, uh, there's also a little orchard bee, bee thing. Oh, apiary is the term that I'm looking for. Not orchard. Uh, but there is a little orchard over there, which is kind of nice. Right. So, uh, we got ourselves a bunch of potions. Nice. They actually brew quite quickly, to be honest. Can I get this in here? Hold on. There we go. Okay, that's looking very, very good. Let's get this opened. Let's get that in there. And let's see if that works. If we click start all workstations. Boom. Boom. Happy days. Are you gonna you gonna work? Yes, excellent. Look at that. We're automatically gonna get ourselves a whole bunch of bricks, which is very very good indeed. Okay, uh, what did I need to expand again? I needed stone. We got plenty of wood. That's really really nice. Clay, brick, stone. 
I think uh, we're going to see if we can try and get some more. We're going to go and see if we can try and get some more bricks. Let's get this all moved over to here. Let's get this nabbed, that nabbed. Uh, we stick that in there, that in there, that in there. We're going to basically try and get rid of as much stuff from our inventory as possible. We're going to stick this uh, over here. We can unlock. We can unlock more inventory space for a thousand bucks if that's what I want to do. Um, I mean, it is something that I want to do, but I need to sell some more potions in order to get a little bit more cash because we barely have enough cash to expand. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to hopefully take a little bit of a journey over to the quarry, which is just over here. Uh, we can cut through the apiary and see what is, see what is over here. Uh, we can see the bees. Not the bees, as they say. Uh, if I run near the bee trees, then we are going to get... We're going to get, uh, yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be stung. Um, that's kind of how, that's kind of how it happens. I don't really want to chop down those trees, although I do like honey. Much like Winnie the Pooh, I, I do like a little bit of, I do like a little bit of honey. Okay, let's sort of run this way. Perfect, that's fine. So, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of direction. Um, this is northeast, I guess, so this is maybe where our secondary quest sort of is. Broken Cart uh, is apparently a place on the minimap now. That's kind of nice. And it looks like this is Odie. Oh, fantastic. What would you like, Odie? Shakes head. Hmm. Stacked crates too high. Cart broke. Not good. Need wood. Uh, need to... Need to treat wood. Okay. Uh, 20 wood collected. 10 honeycomb collected. I knew... I knew something would require the, the, the bees to be... To be angered. Uh, well, you know what? That's not the focus for right now. The focus for right now is going to the mine. So the mine is over here and uh, the mine is great because the mine gives us a whole bunch of resources. Uh, one of the resources is this mana stone. This mana stone. There we go. Look at that. This, uh, this mage root is what it's called. Uh, allows us to make mana potions. That is the blue potions that were that were present uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, but also, I mean, we got a we got a little bit of we got a little bit of material as well, which is kind of nice. I am looking specifically for a high concentration of stones that I'm that I'm able to use my special ability on. I mean, something like this is probably like not bad. Well, this is very very good here. Holy cow! Look at this. Perfect. How much stone does that get me? 44 stone? I mean, that's not that's not at all bad. That is not at all bad. That's just up to 51 stone. So that's kind of where we are. Uh, this is iron. This is a, an iron resource, which is kind of nice. That's pretty good to do. Uh, yeah, I really would like... I really just would like more basic stone, though. So let's get... Let's go to town on some of the basic stone. I mean, we need 200 stone in order to get... In order to get our... Um, in order to get our thingy expanded. Our underground expanded. I also need a bunch more clay. There's also a few other sort of resources that I could gather a little bit more information on. There's a bit of a research system. There's an alchemy system, which is also kind of nice and definitely one that I would like to explore. There we go. How are we doing? Fantastic. Can we go through here? No, not at the moment. All right, get more, get more mage root. Get more mage root. Beautiful. Go to town. Excellent. What did we get? We got... Uh, wow. We did get a little... We get... We're, we're, almost at, we're almost at 200 stone. Can you actually believe that? That's kind of bonkers. I like that a lot. And all we've done is utilize uh, two special abilities, which is pretty freaking fantastic, if I do indeed say so myself. I need to be careful that I don't sort of overdo it on the, the old inventory, um, space, but I am kind of tempted to pay, you know, a thousand bucks just to get more inventory space, because it is really, 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 really handy to have, and it definitely sort of helps with longer expeditions like this, where we have to go around and get a few resources, and sort of get uh, get set up and get reset for the for the day ahead. Um, I also should point out that a bunch of stuff happens when you sleep. Um, the way that we get bottles in this game, uh, at least a certain number of bottles, is that every time you sleep, twenty five bottles are basically delivered to your door. That's right. Um, we'll we'll go and pass the the post office or the post box, I should say, on the way back. But that's basically how it works. Let's go. Sure. 
We actually managed to hold... We actually managed to hold all those resources. Nice. Okay, well, we are, like, painfully close to the threshold of stone that we need. I'm not gonna be surprised if starts... If stuff sort of starts, um... Overflowing. So I feel like we're in overflow territory. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely in overflow territory, which means that we've got, yeah, exactly the right number of, uh, of resources. Right, let's pop through here if we can... Not pop through there. That's fine. Okay, well, we'll just go back. It's probably just about equidistant, which is cool. What sort of mining operation must have been going on down here? It's quite incredible to think that the amount of... The amount of resources that are just sort of at the mouth of the mine really begs the question, why would you even bother going into the mine if you can get so much good stuff outside the mine? But, you know, these are the sort of lore questions that I think we need that, that we need answered. Absolutely. Uh, right, I really would like to use my special ability, but I do not feel confident that I'm not just going to immediately spew about a billion resources into the wild and just waste them all, uh, which is not something that I would like to do at all. No. Uh, it is coming up to the end of the day here, but that's not necessarily a problem. We may at least be able to get a few things into the production line, uh, because I love the way that things happen overnight. Right, bottle subscription, yeah, so we get 25 bottles every day, this is the, uh, this is the mailbox. We can invest, uh, we can check our mail, uh, no more daily, whatever, like, there's nothing, there's nothing in there at the moment. Right, back down here, this is looking, this is looking good, this is looking good, um, I don't need to go back outside. Uh, we got a few bricks to collect, which I cannot, of course, collect, because my inventory is absolutely rammed. Get that in there, get that in there. That's looking really, really good. And suddenly the bricks are able to squeeze into there. And we should be able to resume brick production. We've got bricks. We've probably got the wood. Yep, we've got the wood. And what was the last thing that we needed? We needed clay. Uh, so let's hold back. Hold back a few bits of clay then. There we go. Hold back a little bit of clay. That's fine. Okay, so the great thing is, whenever we go to sleep, it is, it's, it works like magic. We go to sleep, and you will hear a little, uh, you'll hear a little action in the background. Oh, beautiful. We sold like nothing. 250 bucks. Well, it's a good thing that I didn't, um, oh, well rested. Tiny increase to movement speed. Cool. It's a good thing I didn't pay for, um, an upgrade. Anyway, uh, so yeah, these are our customers. We saw a couple of them. We saw Chunk here. Uh, customers do better on their adventures based on the potency of potions that they buy. That is pretty cool. We can level up these customers. That is very, very nice. Okay, so uh, look at that. We've woken up just like that. Bada bim, bada boom. We should have as, uh, as, much, as much brickage as we actually need. Uh, we need a few more. We need six more. Can I, can I get, can I get there? We need four more. Let's, uh, let's add... Let's add, split it into, hold on, sure, give me that in there, right, so we'll keep 25 clay literally back, I'm gonna get the wood out of my inventory, or wood into my inventory, move that across, move that across, move that across, move the wood in there, I think that should be enough, as long as we get four more bricks, which should be done quite literally momentarily, then we should be fine. What do you want? Be a sweetie and brew some healing potions for for Audi? Okay, I mean we got a lot of <laughs> we got a lot of missions here. We got a lot of missions. We got a main quest, which we're working on for uh for our goblin friend. Uh we have found our friend. We just need to chop down. Oh, we need to have the potions at the same time uh, as well. I mean that's fine. We can we can do that. Do I have there we go. Are we are we good? Oh, I need to have them. I need to have them literally on um, on my person when I find them. Okay, whatever. That's uh, that's fine. Happy to do that. Let's get this expanded. Beautiful. We'll pay the price. We will be grand. Okay, we need to go to bed. We need to uh, collect a little bit more wood. We need to collect honeycomb. We can do all of these things. And we also have the daily task to brew some healing potions, which 
I can maybe do. I kind of want to go to bed. I kind of want to go to bed because I kind of want to see how the expanded workshop actually looks. Not tired enough to rest? Okay, I guess we can't. I guess we can't slink off to bed at, at nine o'clock in the morning. Let's go and find Audie then, shall we? Let's go and find Audie sort of officially. This is official business. I think I've got enough. Yeah, I've got plenty of inventory space. We've got all the resources that we need. Uh, we need to pick up a little bit more wood for him. We need to collect a little bit more honeycomb. Uh, it's not that. It's not that stuff. It's, um, I wanted to check specifically. I wanted to check specifically what we use to harvest this. Okay. Easy. Good stuff. Okay, now run. Run, 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 run. Okay, nice. Four out of... Four out of ten honeycomb? I only got four honeycomb for that? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, at least we can kind of do like another hit and run style... Style job. Because uh, there is a about a zero percent chance that I am going to survive against all of these bees. I mean, if Nicolas Cage wasn't able to do it, then I'm definitely not going to be able to do it. What about I just... One. One singular bit of honeycomb. Sorry, tell a lie. Two singular bits of honeycomb. I guess that's a bit of an oxymoron, but... I guess you can't have two singular. Well, I suppose you can have two singular bits. Anyway, um, we've almost had our special ability recharge let's let's run back into the action and see if we can try and find a good grouping of trees this looks pretty appealing over here nice do we get what we need no honeycomb two honeycomb we need literally like two more bits ah Ah, we were literally on the way out. That is, that is such a shame. That is such a shame. Well, we almost, we almost had him. We almost had him. Did we make any money today? No, but to be fair, we also didn't pay any tax, which is kind of nice. We didn't pay the, we didn't pay the, the, the amateur hour tax, uh, which is of course run by, run by Griselda. Anyway, um, we fulfilled the other half of our mission, which is kind of nice. Uh, Inventory-wise, we do have the requirement to... Or we do have the stuff that we need to get done. Uh, sure, there you go. More space for you to stumble around in. Obviously, this space is useless if we don't take advantage of it. Build another extractor and a bottler production line. Don't forget to connect them as well. Don't worry, I'm, I'm absolutely going to be doing that. Um, do I want to... Uh, do I want to grab... I think I actually want to help my friend. Let's go and help my friend. We don't need to we don't need to worry altogether too much about We don't need to worry too much about achieving anything specific today. I do need to build an extractor, build a bottler. I'm going to do that. I'm excited to do it. Let's freaking go. But I would also really 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 like to get uh, some of these side quests done as well, which is going to make which is going to make for a good time. Uh right. Have I taken a pretty inconveniently long route? A little bit. A little bit. Cut up through here. There we go. Excellent. Broken carts. Let's go and say hello to Audi here. Excellent. Uh, you need potions, potions. There you go. Happy days. You need woods. You need honeycomb. Happy days. Must repair card. No, much work ahead. Can you help? What do I need to do? I need to I need to get 25 strawberries and 25 uh shan chanterelle. Um I think the chanterelle is a mushroom. I think it might be I think it might be that. It is. It absolutely is that type of mushroom. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, I was able to. I was able to nab your. I was able to nab your uh, your specific type of mushroom pretty darn quickly. Uh, but I can't do the strawberries. I can't do the strawberries quite yet. But I will be able to do them. I will be able to do them soon. Um, I just need to actually find them. 
uh, on the map. Anyway, bees are evil. We're not going to be messing with bees again. Because frankly, why would you if you don't have to? Although, that being said, I could use my special ability. Oh my lordy. Okay, it's the it's the it's the it's the the world constriction that's freaking me out. Either way, we made it. No big deal. Right, build an extractor, build a bottler, connect the extractor with the bottle with a pipe. Excellent. Right, what do I need in order to do that? Also, what is your what is your daily mission? Be a sweetie and get me some proud caps. Okay, well we can try. Right, what do I need? Let's go into build mode. Let's see what we need. We need an extractor. Uh, we need an extractor and we need a bottler. Uh, we need 10 glass. We need five iron ingots. Uh, we need a whole bunch of stone, a whole bunch of glass. Let us have a little look. Uh, let us have a little look at what we actually need in order to get in order to get some of these some of these ingredients sorted. I would love to get some iron ore converted here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just uh, let's literally just get that iron ore sort of sorted. Should be should be automated. So that's going to start spitting out some iron. That's great. What did I say I needed? I needed glass as well. Uh, we need to look for a sandy area, don't we? Yeah, search for somewhere sandy. Okay. What else What else do we have? We have got a daily task, which gets us some more bottles. There is actually like a, a pretty... It's a pretty hard to beat limit with regards to the number of bottles that we can, uh, that we can get. How is my inventory looking? My inventory is not looking good, and I need to get into the habit of not... Uh, not... Uh, let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'll keep the mushrooms on me just in case. I'll get rid of those potions, though. Do I need to get rid of anything in here? No. Although, I could... I split that, get rid of that. There we go. Let's see if we can try and... Let's see if we can try and brew up some more stuff. Let's see if we can try and brew up some more stuff. Also, we've got some bottles, I believe. Yep. Bottles should always just chill here. I have no idea what potion this is going to make, so I'm excited to see if it actually does make a potion. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, we cannot do anything with regards to our sickles yet. That's all fine there. That's all good. Let's get these let's get these potions offloaded because I want to start selling them. Boom! They appear on the shelf there. That is lovely. Okay, there's a few other sort of milestones that we need to discover in the world. I mean, clearly strawberries. That's something that we need to get. I mean, where would sandy stuff be? Lighthouse. I mean, let's teleport down. Let's teleport down to the city walls. Let's teleport down to the city walls and see what we've got going on down here. Uh, we've got wheat. Or some sort of grain here. I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, not anything that we can do. Can't do anything with it at the moment. What else is over over here in this world. Let's uh, sort of keep in mind where we are. We're like over here. This looks beachy. This looks beachy and it looks peachy. Road sign. West is to the west is beach. Ooh. Okay. What do we need to repair this? We need clay and 250 stone. Very, very cool indeed. Okay. So I think that is probably, that is probably a more substantial beach than, than this area. Although this might, this might just do it for us. You absolutely love to see this. I mean, it's so freaking cool, this ability. Let's do it. Oh, brilliant. Okay, we got sandstone. We didn't... Oh, we did get a little bit of sand there. Got a little bit of sand in these rocks too. Very, very cool. Okay, that's going to help us make glass. Love to see it. And also just general... Just general stone, just general clay. This is all very, very handy. We're going to need, like, tons and tons and tons of stone. There we go. Man, uh, okay. I, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. What did we need to repair that bridge? I, to be honest, we're probably, like, not far off. I mean, what did I say? 250 stone? Okay, we're a wee bit away. We're a wee bit away with the stone. Let's do one more, one more chunky chunk here. There we go, and then by the time that we're done with that, maybe we can do one little last fell swoop of our uh, our special ability here. 
Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice, in fact. Uh, so our inventory is bulging at the seams. That is completely fine with me. We we pretty much got everything that we came for. Uh, still need to find strawberries at some point in the world. Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, we need 25 strawberries. We're going to have to ditch, destroy, destroy that. Uh, we'll nab ourselves some strawberries. Of course, we pick up the wrong thing. We picked fiber up. Uh, do I want to drop the fiber? Sure. Hey, you know what? Actually, let's destroy the iron ore. Destroy the iron ore, get the fiber. And uh, get the strawberries as well. There's obviously something else. I think that's a type of beetle there. I'm not overly concerned about it. This looks like an old building here. There we go. Grab that. I don't know what fibers are going to be useful for, but it's... Oh my lordy, look at this. Oh, what is that I see? It's a whole bunch of strawberries. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well that is pretty much just quite literally solved all of our problems. That was one little, one little run. Goodness gracious me, that was good. That was good. That felt satisfying. I will say, absolutely everything that you do in this game feels just... It feels grounded. It feels very satisfying. It looks cool. It looks gorgeous. And the automation is flipping fantastic as well. I love the... I love the mechanic. What are we... Are we brewing something here? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think so. I guess we're not able to... I guess we're not able to brew with those... With those mushrooms. Anyway, uh, let's get... Let's get going here. We need glass, iron ingot, glass, iron ingot. Okay, we have a lot of iron ingots to collect. Let's maybe solve some of our storage issues here. Let's get some sandstone in there. Sandstone in there. Hodge, hodgepodge. Oh, okay, so it absolutely did. It absolutely did create something. It just created something awful. Cool. I'm okay with this. Let's get the bottles in there and let's get ourselves the iron ingot here go. Are we still, we're still working through iron there. That's cool. Let's also get sand added to that pile. And then let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. And then I hope by the time that I wake up in the morning, uh, we have basically just fast forwarded through all of our potential production bottlenecks. And also maybe made a little bit of, a little bit of cheddar on the side, 183 bucks. I mean, you know, I feel like it's, it's not a great living, but it'll do. You know, it's an honest day's work. Okay. Okay. Close. Close, but no cigar. Uh, we still have a whole bunch of iron here. What's what's the what's the issue? Do we need to add? Do we need to add? I think we might need to add an, an extra component for that. Hold on. Um, let me have a little look here. Let's let's try and let's try and free up a little bit of let's try and free up a little bit of space. Uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get the uh, get the clay added. Get the clay added. We know that the clay added is, is going to be fine. Uh, we should also probably hold up. Stop. Stop all workstations. Let's get this moved. We've got so much flipping space. I can actually deal with it now. So let's do that. Let's move this as well. Get that in there. Let's also build another crate. There we go. That's good. Let's get this opened. Let's add wood. Okay. And then let us open that. Take that out. Take that out. Okay. Try. Try that. Try that video game. Let's see. Let's see if that makes. Uh, let's see if that makes a. Uh, see if that makes a difference. Should be able to spit out a few good bits of brick. Let's have a little look. See. Okay. We've got some charcoal. Very very interesting indeed. So, uh, am I going to be able to? Let's have a. Let's have a see. Do we need charcoal? Do we need charcoal to? make the iron or is it just going to be is wood going to be uh is wood going to be fine looks like we're still spewing out looks like we're still spewing out that let's give uh let's give let's feed let's feed charcoal back into the mix okay and let's click start on that crate
Okay, let's see. Let's see what the... Let's see what happens. We get charcoal powder. Okay, well, <laughs> there we there we go. Uh, apparently, we can't make it in the kiln. Do we need a Do we need a furnace or something? I think we might need a furnace. Uh, yeah, we totally totally need a furnace, right? Smelt stuff into glass and ingots and stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and get that. Okay, uh, the kiln the kiln cannot get uh, the kiln cannot get hot enough. Apparently, that is not a problem. That is not a problem. Okay, stop the stop the kiln. Uh, we can still make bricks with it, but we're not gonna be able to make anything else with it. I mean, that's fine. We got ash. I mean, that'll definitely be useful for something in the future. Let's move that over there. Nice. I do want to get rid of these bits and bobs. Let's go and see if we can do that. Wonderful. Excellent. Get those on the shelf. Superb. And let's see what else we've got in store here that I need to get built through. Pretty much nothing. I mean, that's pretty much that's pretty much everything. Right. Let's see what we need. Let's see what we need for the furnace. I'd really, really like to get that. I mean, it's definitely a prerequisite component. Cost me a thousand thingies to unlock. We need more bricks. Let's get this turned back on. Excellent. Uh, we can go to sleep if we need to. I don't particularly, I don't particularly think it's necessary right this second, but that's fine. Right, let's go and nab ourselves a little bit of extra stone. If we're lucky, there may be a little bit of extra stone outside. What about over here? No, it doesn't look like there's much stone over there. These these, uh, these darker stones, we can't actually destroy. But maybe... Oh, there's a stone here? I think we needed 12 stone, if I'm not mistaken. That was... Five. Yeah, it was like 50%. That'll do it, right? There we go. Perfect. And then we needed a few more bricks, and the bricks should already be in progress right about now. We we're accumulating more and more bottles, no doubt. Let's have a little look. Uh, yep, we are, but I can't pick them up, so that's fine. Excuse me. Sorry. I got a daily, a daily task. I don't care for that. That's okay. Also, we should be able to recycle this chest, and we should be able to recycle it fairly, fairly soon. Uh, we're still not tired enough to rest at this moment in time, but that shouldn't be an issue. What do we need? Seven? We need seven bricks. Now down to now down to four. Okay. Um, we shall move some things around. Let's see if we can maybe make some mage root happen. Mage potions, let's freaking go. Put that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. Nice. Let's add even more. And then let's maybe check out the alchemy table. We can do a little bit of research. Okay. Uh, so, alchemy table is this one. Uh, we can go into... Well, we can do tool enchantment uh, as well, which is kind of interesting as well. We can do stat increase, minor increase to sickle speed. We need proud caps. We need mushrooms. We need a haste potion. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, we can also get an upgraded axe. Go-go uh, -go berries. Yeah, we got beetles. We got healing potions. We do not have anywhere near enough, so we're not going to be able to do that either, but it's not necessarily a problem. Uh, for research, though, we can research this geode. There's probably nothing of value inside, but what if there is? Okay, what about the strawberry? Ooh, gives you a tiny increase to damage against trees for the rest of the day if we eat a strawberry. And this mushroom here gives a tiny increase to damage against minerals for the rest of the day. Okay, so it's definitely worth us maybe, uh, like, <laughs> micro-dosing some, uh, some, some of those ingredients, which I'm very very in favor of if it's gonna if it's gonna allow for slightly greater efficiencies that's pretty freaking cool let's get uh let's get you to start up there we go and we are underway let's nab ourselves a furnace needs charcoal as fuel look we're gonna need to get we're gonna need to get uh this here what about building what about building another kiln i would like to i would like to build another kiln but I do not have the ability to do that right now. But what we can do, you can already start to see. You can already start to see. Yeah, you, you can output a brick into there, but it's not gonna, not actually gonna be handy. Uh, yeah, we will be able to, there we go, grab this here, 
open this here, add this here. Excellent. We should be able to add still a few still a few bricks that are chilling around here. Let's uh I tell you what, it's one brick that's going back into the it's going back into the kiln. There we go. Spit you out. Hold on, stop the kiln. Stop the kiln temporarily. Move you back into there. That's very, very nice. And then let's grab this crate. I realize this is not perfect because we now don't have a kiln to make uh, to make bricks. But that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's start you up, and then let's see if this let's see if this actually works. Furnace is off. Let's get it started. And what do you know? Literally, just like that, out pops an iron ingot. What a fantastic little system. Uh, you can see, ladies and gents, that we have barely scratched the surface of what, of what we can do with regards to automation. We've got two production lines going here. Very, very nice little independent production lines, I would hasten to add. Uh, one of which is going to make us uh, a decent little, uh, a decent little... Little, uh, little chunk of cheddar. I don't think that that, I don't think that that, 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 that hodgepodge potion has gone, uh, has gone down very well. I mean, it is bottle failure, so I'm not surprised that it's not selling, but, you know, we can dream. Anyway, look at that! We're making, we're making iron, and we haven't even, we haven't even started with, uh, with glass yet. I mean, open this up, stick a little bit of sand in there. I mean, we're gonna need more and more and more, uh, more and more wood in order to sustain this, uh, to sustain this reaction, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. It is absolutely fine with me. This is looking excellent. I'm happy. Uh, ladies and gents, uh, check this game out. It's a good little one. It's the, the magical, the magical mixture mill. Uh, I got a lot of time for it. I love it. Uh, thank you very much to the publisher for sponsoring the video. It is greatly appreciated. This is a lovely little game and I can't wait to play more of it and, uh, and check it out as it develops throughout early access. But for now, and for me, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obda Potato. I'll see you next time.